uh, this is about half-life, the concept of uh, radioactive decay and half-life. It says if only one sixteenth of a substance whose half-life is 300 years remains, so if only one sixteenth of that original substance remains, what is the age of that substance? Let's say we know that it has a half-life of 300 years. So what does that mean? Well, if there is a certain amount of that substance, we usually call that N0, every half-life, what's going to happen? The concept of the half-life, we usually call the half-life tau, the Greek symbol tau. Every half-life, the half of the original remaining substance will be left. So if it starts out with N0, after one half-life, you will only have half of that. So it's going to be N0 over 2. Okay? After two half-lives, what's going to happen? One more half-life. Two half-lives. Well, half of this will remain. Half of half, which gives you a quarter of the original, right? So it's every half-life, half of what's remained remains, right? So two half-lives, a quarter of the original, right? Half of the half, which gives you a quarter. After three half-lives, what's going to happen? Half of a quarter, which is an eighth, one-eighth. So we can actually make a plot here. Uh, one-eighth, well, that gives you over here. N0 over 8, right? So certain number of particles, active nuclei, one-eighth of that, right? Original is uh, N0. After one half-life, N0 over 2. After two half-lives, N0 over 4. After three half-lives, N0 over 8. After four half-lives, what's going to happen? Half of one-eighth, which is one-sixteenth. So on the graph, that gives you like right here, N0 over 16. Okay? And so that gives you over here. So the graph looks exponential looking okay the official equation for this is n equals n zero two to the minus t over tau two to the minus t over tau every time t is equal to one tau you have one half of what's remaining t equals two tau you have two to the minus two t equals three tau two to the minus three t equals four tau two to the minus four right so in this case how much of the substance is remaining? One sixteenth. How many half lives is that? One sixteenth. One half, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth. Four half lives, right? Four half lives. So if the half life is three hundred years, four half lives is uh, twelve hundred years, right? C is the answer. After three hundred years, one half of it will remain. After six hundred years, a quarter of it will remain. After nine hundred years, one eighth of it will remain. After twelve hundred years. Uh, one sixteenth of it will remain. Okay, so now you know how this radioactivity works. This is how we do carbon dating and uh, based on radioactive decay. So now you see how this works. Thank you very much.